Yeah, good evening, Mal Kumar. Good evening. Yeah, could you please introduce about your art style? Thank you, ma'am. First of all, giving this opportunity to me. Thanks for giving this opportunity to me, myself. My name is Mal Kumar. Could you I please am, louder? I am from Tadi Pilgrim, Andhra Pradesh. I did my schooling coming to my educational qualification. I did my schooling from Chakravet High School, and I did my intermediate from Aditya Junior College. I have finished my B Tech in. In the department of ECE in City Institute of Technology and Engineering at Tadi Pilgrim, and coming to my family background, my father is a farmer, my mother is homemaker, and my sister is currently studying B.Ed. And my short-term goal is to get the job in a reputed company, and my long-term goal is to become a team leader. To and become my, a team leader. Yes. Okay. My strengths are I am disciplined and very hardworking person, and my weaknesses are overthinking, oh. and I trust people very easily. Okay. And my hobbies are reading books and listening music. That's all about me. So you are an emotional person, Manik Kumar. No, not me. Mm, then you said that uh, that you are just a disciplined person, not emotional. Not emotional. I cannot express emotion with my eyes. Okay. By crying. No. Okay. So you have a uh, skills in code Java, SQL, and HTML, Manik Kumar. Yes. Okay. But I prepared only Core Java for this interview. For this interview, you prepared, prepared Core Java. So you know SQL and HTML also. You know SQL and HTML basics, or else you finished the total. But I need some time to revise. To revise, to revise the topics, right? Okay, fine. It's not a matter at all. Uh, can we make a constructor static? No. No. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. How? How you are saying no? Because of uh, we can call the concept with the help of this keyword. This keyword. So. Without uh, with key with this keyword we cannot call the static uh, constructor. No. We cannot call static constructor. constructor. What is static constructor? Static is a keyword which is used for memory management. Okay. Which is used for memory management. Memory management. And. How much the memory management will be managed? Because of for every static variable, there is a only one copy of code. Louder. There is a only copy for every static uh, variable. Okay. But in instance variable, there is a separate copy for every variable. For every variable. For every variable. So it is very useful for memory management. It is very useful for the memory, memory management. management. Can we make the abstract method uh, static in Java? Yes. Abstract method static in Java. Can we make? Yes. How? No, no. Uh, because uh, we can call the static method with the help of class name. In abstract method, we can uh, we cannot create object classes. We cannot create object class. We can implement them. In the child classes. In the child classes. Child classes. Okay, man, come on. Okay. Can we declare the static variables and uh, methods in an abstract class? Yeah. In abstract class, okay. can we describe a? Uh, uh, can we describe or declare the static yes, variables or methods? Yes, ma'am. How? A static method. We can declare static variables and non-static variables, and we can call them also. What is abstract class? Abstract class name. Yes. Well, abstraction means it is the process of hiding implementation details from the user and showing necessary details to the user. Which type of details? Abstract class. The <coughs> we can declare normal methods, default methods, constructs also, but without method burden. Could you please uh, speak louder so that I can hear you properly? The syntax of abstract class means. Access modifier, okay. abstract keyword, class, class name. Class, class, class name. Class, class. What's the syntax of abstract class? Public modifier, abstract keyword, keyword class, and class name. So, does a modifier and a specifier are same, or else they have uh, any same. different abbreviations? Access modifier or access specifier are the same. What is modifier and specifier? They are the same as means that they provide the access restrictions. 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 Okay, fine. Okay, good.
So what is main keyword in Java? Main keyword, yeah. Yes. What is main keyword or else this keyword in Java? What is this keyword? This keyword is used to call the present class variables and methods. Present class? Variables and methods. Okay. So only that's the case. Static is also very important for Java. Okay, you're answering in just a two, three lines, right? Yes, Doesn't have any uh, in a prolong or not? Doesn't yeah, have still any further now? Huh? Still? The syntax of uh, this uh, uh, constructor means access modifier and class name. Access modifier and class, class name. What is class? Class is a blueprint or template to your created object. To create an object. object. Does the class have syntax? Yes, ma'am. What is that? Access modifier, class, class name. What is method and member? Yeah. What is method and member in class? Method is used to expose it to the behavior of an object. Behavior of an object? Expose the behavior of an object. Okay. Still member? It's uh, like variables now. Okay. Parameters. Can we assign the references to this variable? Ma'am. Can we assign the values okay. to this variable? This variable now. Mm. Yeah. This is a keyword, right? Yes, ma'am. So for that keyword, can we assign a value? Okay. No. Keywords are not declared as variables. Not declared not as a, what is a variable and a keyword? What is the difference between variable and keyword? Keywords are predefined. Now. Predefined. We cannot declare as a variable. Okay. So what is the difference between built-in and the user defined? Built-in means they are predefined and we cannot modify them. Built-in? Predefined, we cannot modify them. Okay. User defined means we can Declare the variables with our own name. We can means who's the person? Yeah. User, right? They, yes. They user. Yes. User defined variable. Yeah. Or else users uses yes. the okay fine. So what are the main uh, uses of this keyword? Main uses. uses. Actually we use this keyword, yes, right? Man. What are the main uses of that? This keyword is used to call instance name. Instant members. Instant members. We can use it everywhere except static area. Except static, static area. Area. What is static? Why why we, why we should not use in static? Because we can call any method with the help of class object. But uh, static uh, class is called with the help of a class name identifier name, and also class object. And also class object. Class object. But the remaining uh, has the only one way to identify name and class object. We cannot call with uh, class name. Yeah, yeah. Instance members are not variable. Okay, then can we assign a variable to the to this variable? This variable. Can we assign any references? We can. Can we assign the references to this variable? No. no? This is a keyword. This is a keyword. keyword. What is reference? Reference means object name. Object name. Okay. So you are prepared in technical way? Yes, ma'am. So have you done any projects before? By your way, not by purchasing or mm -hmm. whatever it may be. But I can write any program. You can write? I can write any program with my own ideas. With your own ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are good. You are good. You have talent. So actually, uh, before that, one thing is, you should uh, be fluent and confident, Manikumar. Yes, okay. So you have the subject. I know you have the subject. You have the subject and you have the communication skills, what you want to express. Yes. But should be in confident way and fluency. Should not be panicked at okay. in interview times or whatever the recruiters will ask. Okay. Yes, so you said that you want to become a team leader. So you should have the qualities of team leader. Yes. You, you should have, you should be maintain the team leader qualities. Okay. You should not be the member of the team leader. You are the team leader. Yes. So you should be fluent speaker in that in such a way. You should be explained in a prolonged manner. Yes. You should not explain within two words. Okay? okay. Then that would be easy for you. Okay. Okay, okay Manikumar. Thank you. Thank you for this interview. Okay. So good. Your presentation is good. Okay. okay.